Hello, once again, hello. After a while, I'm back uh, with the first series of Ngodi Slave House. This is a story to do with several here in Marawi, and I hope uh, you'll be able to enjoy this video. And it's very informative and educative. I just like to uh, clear out on a few things before uh, um, I give you these uh, uh, sessions. The first part we refer to Donald Malot, Walter, the one who built the slave house as a um, doctor, but he's not a doctor, and that's the first one. Secondly, the house now, the slave house, has been turned into a museum. So the first part will be uh, about the slave house, and then the second part will be about the museum signed. So um, as you are going on, I would, I would also I would like to apologize for the uh, uh, voice, but also uh, the ones who are working at the slave house, they could not communicate fully in English. So as such, they were using teacher and I tried my level best to uh, make sure that I uh, translate here and there. So if you happen to lose some points, please forgive me in advance. However, you find this video so educative. So please dive in, watch, watch and learn. Thank you very much. Enjoy the video. Yes, this is me, the Choke Master, coming all the way from Lilongwe. And behind me, I'm at a place called uh, Ngoludi. And what you're seeing behind me is what is called the Nguludi Slave House. Um, I, I, I came here specifically just to learn more about this place. Um, no, yeah, it looks nice, it looks okay. This is the house, and it is known as Nguludi Slave House. So I have a, a friend of mine here who is going to show me around this place, and he will explain everything to us. Yes, my friend, your name, first yeah, of all. My name is Roy Fusan. Roy Fusan. And you work as what here? I'm working here as a monument assistant. Monument assistant. Yeah. So okay. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So I'll be with uh, Fonsan today, and uh, he will explain to us what the Ngulu the slave house is all about. Let's go, my friend. He's going to lead the way. So here we go. And I did not even get your name. Uh, my name is... A moment. Uh-huh. Repeat it again. You said... Yeah, my name is Blair Amanda. Blair Amanda. Okay, yes. good. Uh, by saying that this is a slave house, it means... It means slaves were assembled here. Yes. yes. And they were processed here. Yeah. Yes. In those days. In those, In those days. days. Mm. Way back. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. It's a long time. Yeah, it's a long time. Okay, fine. Anyway, let us see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First, we can explain. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh huh. Yes. Sure. Mm -hmm. This is safe house, and the safe house. Mm -hmm. The early days, those days. Uh huh. Mm. Mm. This is a long time ago. Yeah. You have forgotten the years. Yes, I've forgotten the years. May maybe you can help us with the years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. 1880 to 1890. 1880 to 1890. Yeah, yeah. When, uh, doc when uh, Dr. Donald Marota uh, started uh, constructing this house. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sure. So it was constructed by a white person or a black person? A uh, black person. Uh, black person. Donald Marota. Uh huh. Yeah, it's a Malawian. Malawian? Yes. Okay, fine. When was it constructed, this one? Uh, 1880 to uh -huh. 1890. It, 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 it takes, it takes 10, uh, years. 10 years. 1880. That is a long time ago. Long time ago. So he was trading in, in slavery? Yes. This yes. guy? Yes. yes. The, the, the African? African. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so, it, it, I, I, my, my assertion was that this one was built by the whites. No. Not a, by a fellow African. Yes. And a fellow Malawian. Yes. A fellow Malawian? Yes. Is the one who. who uh, this house. So interesting. It, it, it's an it's 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 owner of Ngurud as a farm. The home group. The home group yes. belonged to him. Yes. yes. So, he was a doctor. Uh, it's, uh, Dr. Maloda. Should, should we say he works like a uh, mm -hmm. uh, click? A click. Yeah, yeah. a click. Uh, he works like uh, uh -huh. a click. A click. Uh, the BCL, British Central Africa. Uh -huh. uh, uh, so he was working as a. No, you can talk to Chichewa sometimes. I'll translate yeah. here. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm a uh huh. So he was working at BCL. Yeah, BCL good. Okay, a, fine. As a mm -hmm. um, 
and for long time mhm uh, with the white people white people white people uh-huh as you know after some years mhm uh-huh. Like many people have been living in Malawi as it can be South Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After working for some time, yes. Sometimes they might have my dana, my relatives. Yeah, huh? Yeah, because we did as a bank of benefit. Okay, okay, okay. So, so he was working for the British, yes. and then he decided to invite his relations to come here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Those, those white people. Mm hmm. He was calling. Uh, They are relatives. Aha, the white people now they are calling their from all the way from Europe coming yeah, to our, yeah. to Malawi to this place specifically this no, place. No, 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 this place. Mm-hmm. In Palombe. Yeah. Aha, good. So after, maybe you can stand this way a bit because I can take in one picture. Yeah, that's okay. better. After we day have been at Chito Eja. Mm. Then I done and we now go to do Bruce. Oh, so they invited Bruce. Bruce. So it it was this Malopa who invited Bruce or no, no, or, the, okay the okay boss, the boss of okay just ju- just to recap it because we've been you know going this way and this way okay. said uh, the British came here yes. mm, and they sta- they started what should we say like uh, an estate or estate. okay yeah. what were they planting then uh, coffee, coffee tea. tea and something like that and so they decided to invite their fellow friends. fellow friends to come here. And then in the process of inviting their fellow friends they invited Bruce. Bruce. Yes. Aha. Let us proceed now. Okay. So mm-hmm. Bruce Adabwera. Aha. Now na wodi zimaenda ku ino. It was good. It was good. When Bruce came here. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. So she, Bruce she decided he decided to have their own farm. Here. Yes, here in Malawi. Aha. Uh-huh. So he is discussing with uh, Malawi a fellow Malawi and Donald Maloda. Uh-huh. Yeah. So Donald Maloda because uh, the uh, relation it's a good relation with Bruce. Bruce now. Yeah. Mhm. The another guy is some for you know. Uh-huh. They made a choice to come here. Yeah. They made a decision to, to come dis- here. Yeah, to discuss with the uh, chief Mpama. Chief, chief Mpama. Yes. Hey, this is a yao chief, eh? Yeah. Yes, yeah, yes. good. Uh-huh. Chief Mpama. Mhm. So Chief Mpama Anaka mbilana kwa basa uh, ma clothes beads uh-huh. uh-huh. yeah like that uh-huh. so anabe pauri kuna malo aha uh-huh. so they 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 are given yeah. land now uh-huh. Bruce. Yes. in those days land was free yeah, land yes. was nowadays we are buying land very yes. expensive yes. but then it was free it was do you know where this uh, Bruce estate was Uh, Bruce's estate is uh, at Palombe. Palombe. Palombe yeah. Okay. Yes. By then, the, Malota and Malota, uh, Bruce, they were looking for this land in Palombe. In Palombe. Not here at Ngodi. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. I think I'm following you now. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Chief Mpama ampasa Bruce Malo. Mm-hmm. But uh, uh, Malota, uh. anafira would know. Because uh, Bruce, anapasa the large portion of land. He was land. given a very big portion of land. Yes. Uh-huh. The, uh, uh, this one Malawian, Malawian uh, Donald Malota. Uh-huh, Malota now. Very furious. Uh, he was angry, uh, yeah, angry. because of that agreement. Yes. To say I took Bruce uh, from somewhere, uh, brought uh, him to Palombe, Palombe, and then instead of them giving me land, they are uh, giving the land to Bruce. To Bruce. And Malota mena na bereka. Uh-huh. Kwa hiyo uh-huh. Malota na mtu anali malo ambiri. A lot of land, a very wide vision. Uh-huh. 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 It, it was quite a very big land just for one person. Yeah. So, in, in actual fact, Malot was right in those days. He was right, you know. Because it was the broker between two, the chiefs and the Bruce, in, in, in between there was Malota. Yes. Good, very good. Go ahead. And another zona would Malo menda pasidwa wapa sidwa Bruce malo akulu kwambi atakora bwera zunguteni ndikwapo ndikupe phaso malo ndi kuti Malawi sei yakhoza kuti akhala wanda wazo aha let us stop there for him um but i think uh, we are using chichewa here and english at the same time so i will be translating slowly what uh, we are trying to get here they say when Bruce came here they he met Malota And then uh, Malota, what Malota did was to take Bruce to a, an, another district here in Malawi, which is called Palombe, and there he was given a very, very, very big piece, uh, portion of land, very big, very vast, so that Malota became angry that he was not part and parcel of the whole deal. So what happened was that uh, Malota uh, uh, considered that kind of an arrangement as so obscure and so irregular, uh, because the land was so huge that if it, 10 people from 
UK or the whites, 10 whites were supposed to come here and get the portion of land which Bruce got, then it meant Malawi was going to, the whole of Malawi was going to whites only. So maybe that's the reason why uh, uh, Maloto was a bit angry. Okay, fine. Let us proceed. Proceed now. And then you said um, Maloto now was angry. Mm -hmm. the, what uh, happened next? Arrogance has been a way. After. I beat us one for Mpama. So you went back to Chief Mpama? Yeah. But, but Mpama, was he in Palombi or he in Chirazu? He in Chirazu. He in Chirazu. He was a color. He was a color. He was a young man. He was a young man. Okay, yeah, I, I, I understand by then Palombo was not a district. Eh? Yeah, it was not a district. So Palombo was part of uh, Mulanje and the Chirazulu. Yeah, yeah, Mulanje and Chirazulu. So we are talking about the side of Chirazulu this time around, yeah, which yeah. was under Chief Mpama. Yeah. Okay, fine, good. The That's very nice. Arabi da Mpama, na ya Arabi Mpamalo. Mm-hmm. Arabi Mpamalo, Mpama, sana yinyiri kaburi, anawa pangila zabu ino. So it was Malota now. Yeah. He went back to the chief on his own. Yeah, on his own. To negotiate his own deal. Yeah. Aha. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the chief was generous enough to give him that land. Yes. So he was given the whole Ngulodi. Ngulodi. You, you know, you know, you know, some people outside there, for example, the uh, some guys, let's say in UK, they may not know where Ngulodi is. Yeah. But um what we are saying here is that um I think uh, the light is very bad. Yeah, I think this way it's okay. I think what we are saying here is that um uh, Ngulud is a very, very big area. If you can just go to Guguma and then uh, you type Ngulud, N G U L U D I, and then uh, drop the pin there, you see the place. But it's a very, very big place. That's where we are now. And uh, just to enlighten you, uh, Ngulud now has several things which are of historical importance. And also, there is a university here, as I'm talking about, Catholic University. We have a university here. So it's, it was a very, very big piece of land. Anyway. Let us proceed with whatever thing that we are doing. Hmm? Yeah. So he was given the whole Ngulud area. Yeah. I don't pass a Ngulud and say, Mm hmm. I yell at Gazunagudi, Malo Aminoa Azilima. Uh huh. De Akalimapo Kofi. Uh huh. Kumaso. As a black man now. Yeah, as a black man, not white man. Mm hmm. Kumaso D. Mm hmm. As a Malawian, we are as saying so. So he was one of the very first Malawians to own a very big piece of yes, land. Yes. Mm -hmm. Actually, he was competing with the uh, Azungu that Azungu, time. Yeah. Uh, these are the whites. Yeah. Good. Fine. The British then. Yes. Good. British. Now it's very clear. On those those days, uh -huh. we, we were we was in. Uh huh. In those days, yes. Those days, very clear. Don't worry about grammar. Yeah. Don't worry. You know, yeah. language is for communication. Yes. Eh? So don't say I'm I'm speaking broken English. No, 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 no. no. This is our second language. Yeah. Eh? So don't worry. If if you can if you can speak the way, but um, as far as we understand what you're talking, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So. Mm hmm. Aradero. Mm hmm. Araya pagulima. Mm hmm. Ndawa yuma pita. Anabazo na kuti. Anabazo kuti. Kanga risoli malimazi. Zambaku maji pira wumhamu pangwano. Ah. So after some time, uh, doing uh, his uh, farming business, he discovered that you know it was not going according to plan. Yes. Uh, yes. We can say so. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Then, uh -huh. mm. slave, slave, slave trade. So he went into the slave trade now. Yeah. But it was not on a bigger scale. It was yeah. on a lower scale yeah, now, as you are saying it. Yeah. yeah very good. Because, mm. my slave, my slave, I'm going to pay the now, Kwazu. I. Oh, so when, when, when he gets the slaves, direct. Yeah, him as a trader now. Yeah, as you come back now. Uh huh. Okay, what he's saying here is that uh, Mal 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 Malota. You said Malota. Yes, Donald yeah. Malota. Donald Malota. What he did was um, to get slaves on his own. Yes. And then he was slowly establishing himself as a slave trader. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So he could sell direct. Yeah. Direct now as a trader, yeah. not as a, as a, we can say as a middleman or something like that, whereby the whites would come to him. And then, then he would go and look for slaves and then give them to, to, to them. No, not that like that. But he would get the uh, slaves direct and then sell them to the whites on his own. Yes. Uh, I think that was the arrangement. Yeah. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. I think let's, let's face this. You can, you can go along the way. Yeah. 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 Okay. I think, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like that. But uh, uh, the way the slave house. Oh, we come here a bit because of the okay. sun. The way the slave house comes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because of. Uh, that information. Mm -hmm. uh, Malota, as a Malawian, mm -hmm. 
watenga kapulo acha amaza mm. sunga kunoko as a center uh -huh. eh. so as you see the house mm -hmm. in those days it's like a it, uh, today it's like a mansion, mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, it's a very big it's house. A, it's a beautiful, uh -huh. uh, beautiful house. Uh -huh. like that. Yeah. So and so by what? the look of it, it seems that the one who built it had money. Yes. You see. Yes. So Malota had what? Money. money. He had money. Yes. 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 So much and money. He educated, educated the uh, guy. Yeah. That was before John Chirimbo himself. Yes. yes, there was Malota. Malota. Yes. But people don't know about him. Yeah, he yes, don't know. yes, don't know about him. You see, you see, him, we are losing out on history. Yes. Anyway, okay, go ahead. Yeah, so I'm at the garden, I'm at the ground, I'm at the ground. Where? Yeah, I thought, uh, that yeah. ground there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, behind the school, that that, that, that yeah. brick uh, block yes. Yes. to the right of that side. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm at the garden, 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 I'm at so this was uh, supposed to be a guest house. Yeah. Guys, this is the house which we are talking about here. I think uh, these guys should be able to see this one. This is the house. This is the Nguludi slave house, which was used as the guest house for, for, for the whites who are looking for slaves in this area. This is the Nguludi area. And now this one was uh, owned by a Malawian, and his name was Donald Malota. And it was around the 1880s. You know, it's a very, very long time ago. Okay, fine. Let us proceed. You stand up again. Yes. Yeah, close to your friend. Uh, mm -hmm. When they sleep inside here? Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm going to Ndawe oyika kwana kuti abita ka mawa kana ndi nkuja kuti ma server ya akwana ngata kufuna 50 ndekuti awelenga akwana so amayamba ule ndawo opita ku Ulaya pasiku limena akose kuti tinyamuka mawa kapena nkuja okay what is saying is that uh, they will come here the whites will come here put up here and wait for Malota to organize the slaves now yes when the desired number has been achieved now yeah. they will set off set off so yes. this was a guest house yes good Okay, fine. So he doing that at the mm -hmm. long time. Uh -huh, for a yeah. very long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as a history of Malota, mm. yeah, she doing that by using some physical people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Strong people. Strong people. Uh, so he had a strong force. Strong force. Which was helping him to get the slaves get around. The slaves, uh, in a different district. Uh -huh. uh, for example, Ncheu, uh -huh. So he was going as far as Ncheu? Yes. So Ncheu, uh, uh, Ncheu yes. is in the central region, central region of Malawi. Yes. And from here to Ncheu, it has to be around over 250 kilometers. Yes. From here to Ncheu. Yes. So the people, by then, I think there were no buses, there were no cars. Yes. People were walking on foot. Yes. Yes. Ah, so interesting. Let us... Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so Ncheu... Ncheu, Balaka... Uh -huh. And the uh, simple brother. Uh, some of the surrounding districts here. Yeah. 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 So I'm a guy who's from Mene Kujak, where is Savona? These guys. Who's mm -hmm. up in the Malota? So the boss was Malota now. Yes. They'll go there, get yes. the slaves, and then they'll give yes. them to Malota here. Malota sell for and then white people. And then the Malota will give them to the whites who were here waiting for the slaves. Now. Yes. Mungo is Ravenable. Yeah, sure. Ena, I'm a guy they were used to Magalima to farm Wa Malota. Ah, oh. uh -huh. okay. What for Sazi there is trying to say is saying some uh, when Malota gets the slaves, you know, some would go to work for Malota at his farm, and then uh, some would be uh, given to the whites now, will be sold to the whites. Yes, yeah. you see, yeah, okay, fine, it's very clear there. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. After process continuously, mm -hmm. after, uh, uh -huh. after in a visit of the Antwaja, in a Maraga Tower, Guno, Bedia Buncheu, yeah, when they ran away from here, yes. So there were some who were very good, who were daring enough to, to run away to from run their away. masters, yes. After being caught there, they will come here and then they will find an opportunity and run away, go back. Oh, these ones who are working for Malota, yeah. they had the, all the chance to run away, run away. and some did run away. Yeah, because our Amen some can't hide it, some can't hide Aha, okay. Once they were given to the whites, then at the time they were processed and they taken away. Yeah. So these guys were doomed for sure. Yeah. But we are talking about these people who are working for Malota now. These slaves who are working for Malota. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you that I'm 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 going to tell you that I
We are working without it being paid anything. Yes. Yes. So, ka ka kambiri ka mene kash. Kana be zori ka 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 ba ka podcast cheu balaga. Then madlen ozunguli. Antra mara ka ngwa ona so bana nya mara maloda da. Amangu tau bi sola mapili moti. So amangu besa mo asma yoka o. So as you know, kuti sevo inaria. Amuna. Uh, slavery was for men. men. So what you're trying to say here is that when they run away from this point, they'll go back to their homes. Yeah. They'll tell the people yeah. that we are being used to work in the fields somewhere, even sword and taken away. Mm. And then the people got wind of that. Yes. Mm. So they uh, alerted each other mm. in their respective homes. Yes. Uh, and then what happened was that, you know, they knew, once, once they knew that the Malota guys were coming, and they, all the men would run away to the hills and the caves and to hide. Yes. And then, then these slave traders or these people who are looking for slaves will only find women. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Sinajiri Kakwa, three times. Uh huh. Uh, it happened for three times. Yes. Uh huh. Number three, when I visit so Azimai, the Masala Mina Mapasiba, you go in a good day. I'm not trying to be a Mozambique. I'm not trying to be a so suddenly, another is a casualty. Pregnant woman. So, I'm so why? Where is your husband? Where is your husband? Is your husband? Ah, I don't have a husband. So, so uh, is, this? is this a Holy Spirit thing or something like that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. sorry, sorry to my Christian friends, we're not too, but yeah, this is what happened. We are just, you know, trying to visualize, you know, yes. what these guys, you know, were encountering. Mm. When they were asking this pregnant lady, yes. they go into the uh, into, into, into into the areas where they were looking for slaves, and they find this pregnant woman, and then they were saying, "Where are the men?" And they said, "The men have gone to Mozambique." And I said, "So how 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 is it that you are pregnant?" Mm? <laughs> That's very interesting. Okay, fine, good. Yeah. So, Aranka mm -hmm. Zimene Yes. Anamba kumnenya bitha. Oh, yes. they started beating her, um, yeah. beating the preg pregnant woman yes. because they were so messless. Yes. They had no mess in them. Yes. Ah, I see. She died. She died. Oh, so, too bad. Nani mene jenebe zodi ya figa kuboma as we kuboma lawe resigi. Oh, the, the, the colonial masters. Colonial master. You know, you know. By this time, uh, let's explain this thing to say. Um, during this time that these guys are talking about uh, Malota and his friends. And during the slave uh, trade time, Malawi then was not independent. It was, I think, a, called a British protectorate at that time. Yes, that's right. mm? And uh, we were being ruled by the British at that time. So when this incident happened, whereby Malota's men came across this pregnant woman, she lied to them that her husband and some men have gone to Mozambique. They beat her to death. And then that thing, uh, what happened? What transpired there? Um, the, those in, in authority got wind of that. They came to know that. So that's where we are now. Yeah, good. You know, it's very interesting what you're telling us here. Not a lot of people know about I can assure you, not a lot of people know about this thing. Yes. Hmm? Yeah. I'm telling you the truth. Mm -hmm. even, even me, when I was in Nilongwe and I was told that uh, there is Nguru the slave, slave, slave house, I said, what? Nguru the what? He said, yes. You don't know anything about Nguru the slave house? I said, I don't know anything about that. I come from that area, but I don't know anything. Mm. So what is your problem, you guys said? We don't like our history. Huh? Okay, fine. Let us proceed. Now, yeah. the, those in authority have come to know about this thing. What, what happened? Okay, so uh, as a government of... Uh, uh, white people. Yeah. In Amba Musaga Malora. So started um, looking for Malora. Uh -huh. of, of those people. guys who those killed guys. The, the, yeah. the, the woman now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Neno Malora Uja and Abanga escape. Biswala Pili Yolama Kwanje. Which one? This one? This one. Uh huh. By then it had, uh, I think it had, uh, uh, it had trees and vegetation. Eh? Yes. So you say this is what? Makwanje. Makwanje. So he went to hide there. In that hill over there. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Proceed, my friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hiding, he was hiding time. there, yes. Uh -huh. yeah. For a very long time. Yeah, so very long time. And I'm saying, okay. yeah. By then, he had already built this house. Yes. Yes. Everything okay. Everything okay. And the business was very good. Yes. Yeah, good. Wow. And the I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, a daughter. A daughter? Yes. 
daughter. Well, and so he had a daughter who was now uh, doing what his father was doing now. Yeah. Okay, fine. Go. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Taking food to him on the mountain. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, give yourself up. Yes, yes, yes. Give yourself up. Mm-hmm. Ah. So the, the, the wife now uh, had taken over yeah. what belonged to Malota now. Yeah. now he was hiding in the hill and then he lost everything to yeah. the, um, uh, uh, the, the, the colonial masters now. Yeah. Okay, fine, good. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was not arrested yeah. Yeah, because they had taken everything, everything from him, including the land. Uh-huh. So he became poor. Yeah. He, he was a very rich man. He lost everything. Now he became poor. Yeah. Okay, fine. Good. Good. Mm. His land has been taken away from him. He went to stay with his daughter. Ntopwa. And that is a place in Blanta. Yes. Ah, so that place is very popular since very way back. Yes. Makala, I think, Azum. Because oh. this, this, this uh, daughter of Malota, mm. Anna got one day, right? Oh, so she was married to. Maybe that's why they, they, they let him go. Yes. yes. Huh? Mm. Because his, his child was married to a white person. Yeah. <laughs> and then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so anyway. It was uh, <clears throat> 19 mm. is low one. Mm. Uh, when the uh, colonial government mm. uh, discussed with the uh, white fathers. Uh-huh. Yeah, the Catholics now. The Catholics came here, came here yeah. in 19th century yeah. to mm-hmm. discuss uh, this uh, uh, big portion of Gurudi uh-huh. to buy as uh, the to uh-huh. for, the, yeah, for, for them to settle here. Yeah. Yes. It, mm-hmm. yeah, after discussion, yeah, we to come, uh, two, uh, is it two years? The uh, two years. Uh, we were discussing yeah, about that issue. About that. Okay. In good. Uh, until agreement yawe inapangida fifiru kuti malwano agulisidwa so bano ku magatholic so magatholic anamba ma development yawo 1904 1904 yes they started now developing gurudi yeah. as a free uh, place now yes it was no longer in the hands of uh, malota malota was gone was gone or no lo mhm europeans or europeans it became now a center, a center for, a center for Catholic religious uh, yes. Catholics now. Yes. Okay, good. All so, right. So, as a continue of life of Malota, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, when he went to stay with his daughter his at Ntoba. Daughter uh-huh. at Ntoba. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh, she takes uh, almost, uh, almost five to six years. Uh-huh. While well, he's staying there. He's staying there. Uh-huh. But uh, she, he's left his... Uh, wife here. Here. Yeah. Yeah. His wife was still here. Still here at the um, some villages. Some villages there. Uh huh. Yeah, like Suman two. Suman two. Yeah, Suman two. As as we are going towards PIM there. PIM. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nowadays we call Suman two. Suman two. I think it was in Pama. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, agazaga makagwa Sumani yeyo jama kalandi. Uh-huh. His wife was staying this way, and then he was staying in Tobago. Ah, uh, he was so. <laughs> he was so happy. <laughs> okay, what he's trying to say is that he's been taken by his daughter to, to stay with him there. Yes. And then uh, he started, you know, uh, he fell in love with the a helper, yeah. you can say, a maid. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? His daughter's maid. Yes. Yeah. Aha, go ahead. All right, good. <laughs> yeah, for me, I'm not even going to be seen to you. Mm. But they said they didn't even catch what I was going to say about it. So his his wife got wind of that to say your husband there is yes. is behaving badly. Yes. Huh? The like under conflict, but one yeah, yeah, yeah. after discussing, mm-hmm. they can't agree. But they have settled the issues. Uh-huh. Yes, settled. But the relationship is still. Going went on. on. Yes. Oh, the relationship between him and the maid is still, still continued. On. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, we another The maid now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's better to lose. Uh, to lose, yeah. Eh, eh, kudi. Ye aluze. Kumaso unkazo ageso wa maloda adaniso. Aluze. Nde, she make a decision to to kill. Ah, uh, donate maloda. 
uh -uh. by using poison. So she poisoned the maid now. Yes. Decided to say, okay, we be losers. Uh, yeah, the wife should lose, yeah, I lose. I so she poisoned poison Malota. Malota. And so Malota died there. Malota yes. died mm -hmm. after eating a food. Mm -hmm. Menanatiamu poison. Sure. So as the life of Malota, mm -hmm. he says he died with uh, anomaly like Banja like Bwezi. Like that. Yeah, of course, yes. Yes. Uh -huh. That's a uh, history of Maloda ending mm. there. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, okay. Maloda, Wapida, Famu, Yatengedwandi, my white fathers, mm -hmm. like Catholic. Yes, died. Yeah. The farm, the land has been taken by the protectorate uh, 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 administrators, yes. later on by the Catholics. Catholic. Uh -huh. Yeah, so Catholic mm -hmm. now making a development like uh, building a hospital. There is a hospital here, yes. Yes, uh, uh -huh. university. There is a university, a very big university yes. there. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is also a primary school. A primary eh? school. Uh huh. This and is this a primary is school. school. This is a girls' primary school. And then, uh, boys, 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 boys. behind there, are they? Yes. And, and be behind this building, uh huh, this building, there's another, uh, secondary school, another like secondary school, like it's like yes. private. Yeah. Uh huh. There's a private secondary, secondary school, school then. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's, but it's for Catholic. Uh huh. It's called Jogas. Ah. Sure. So in short, we should say that um, this place now is developed. Yeah. It has uh, this type of uh, this type of infrastructure. Is that there are education institutions here? But also we have um, a university here, mm. but also we have a big hospital here. Yes. Now all these are run by the Catholics. Catholics. But also we have a private secondary school yes. somewhere there. Yeah, now you see, you can see there's electricity here, it's developed. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the trees here, people mm -hmm. they were planted with white fathers. Yeah, the white fathers are the yes, one who did this. And like this one, it mm -hmm. has been here made for eight to nine years. Ninety years, this one. This tree, yeah. Uh -huh, look at that. And it has a story to tell on its own. Okay, fine. Now let's go to the house. Uh, before going, going to the house, yeah, I have to conclude, make a, a, a remarks. Zajirigas mm. uh, uh -huh. After that has happened? Yeah. Yes, I'll be translating. Yeah, Don't worry. So, Just go on speaking. Yeah, right, right. Don't stop. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this building, I got to the number of use under the secondary, not secondary, I got to use under the uh, school ya assembly. Okay, so it, it, it was a house, it was a guest house for fathers. Uh -huh, so th th those are now the Catholics now. The Catholics. That's why they were using this house for... Mm -hmm. From a slave house to, to, to a house for Catholic fathers. Okay, fine, good. Yeah. Mm so, and I use that. Kwa Gantawi, then Boma, in Azalo Edela. Uh, now, now, now the protectorate masters have gone. Malawi is independent now. Malawi independent. Now, so, they, when the government came in, uh, uh huh. So, uh, this uh, small land, small land, or this house mm -hmm. is occupied by government. Uh, it's now a government property. Government property. Uh -huh. It's preserved. It's, preserved yeah. it's part of history. Yes, including uh -huh. that ground. Uh, yeah. That ground there. Yes. It's part of history, so uh -huh. you are not supposed to build anything there. Okay, those, okay. Those, those two trees, you see. Uh huh. Yeah. Let, let's just go and uh, zoom in. Yeah. Yes. We won't go out. I think we'd like to see this uh, this place. You know, you know, you know. That's history which we are supposed to learn and understand. But you know, when people look at people like me, you know, moving around trying to see places like this, they become surprised. Now, when you ask them, what do you know about Ngul Slave House? They say, we don't know anything. Yes. Hmm? Okay. So, yeah. in short, guys, uh, we are talking about this space here. This trees. ground. And you see there are two trees here. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's this one. And then there is another tree somewhere there. I think you can't see it very clearly. But uh, you can see there is this tree here. And there is another tree somewhere here, this one. Yes, so they were tying a rope between those two yeah go ahead yeah, i've been to pretty uh -huh. uh -huh. mm. so the whites were sleeping inside yeah. and then the, the the slaves were left here yeah, there was a rope tied between these two uh, uh, trees yes. uh-huh and then the the, the the slaves were tied to that rope yes then i'm gonna bump it in rain uh -huh. sun. even when rain comes they were there uh, where? Uh -huh. Up to now, I think we'll, we'll go and take a very good picture of that sure. one. Yeah. It's a very interesting history. So, no one is supposed to build on this space of land here. Because it's, historical it's a space. historical space. Yes. 
But I see there is there is something like a netball court yeah, now. Yeah, they, they 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 just use it as a ground for uh, for for playing netball. Yes. But no one is supposed to build there. Anything. Good, fine. I think because we'll do if, we'll do a short they put video any, there. Build anything? Mm. They the history. Yeah, sure. Of course, yes, the history will be gone. Sure. This oh, very interesting, my friends. Yeah. I don't know why we 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 don't we don't uh, we don't uh, document these things. You know, our friends are so interested in history, mm? but we. I don't know, we don't have that interest, I don't know why. Huh? Anyway guys, we are talking about Ngudi slave house. Yes, we are talking about the real slavery. But this time around is a new form of slavery, which happened during uh, during the 1880s. And um, the one who built this one was known a Malawian known as Donald Malota. Hmm? Donald Malota. And uh, this is where we are in Ngudi, in Chirazuru district. That's where we are now. And all this is coming to you. This is now a government property. It's a preserved site. It's a historical site. And then, uh, that's why I'm meeting these two guys here who are responsible for the history here. Are we going to the house now? Yes. Before, be, but before we go. Yeah. Yes, stand in the sun. Mm -hmm. Yes. Here, mm. Because we, we talk about. The Come here a little bit. Because we talk about slave. Mm. But uh, inside here. There's not a sea of things we are keeping here. Yeah. We are keeping the historical things. Does uh -huh. find out in Malawi Mono? Okay, so inside here there's a stuff which was used during silver time, but not only for this place, but yeah. from all over yes. the country. Yes, okay. we have dinosaur, uh -huh. yeah, dinosaur bones, uh -huh. we have um, the important stones, uh -huh. yeah, we have the pots. Uh -huh. Yeah, which were used backwards. Now it's yes. like a museum now. Yeah, it's, museum. it's a museum now. Yeah. It's not just about the, sl the, the slave part of history, yeah. but we are talking about uh, the general uh, life of Malawians yes. as far as history is concerned. Sure. That's what it's been turned into. Yeah. Yeah, very good. I think we can go in if we are ready. Yes, we are you are ready. ready. And guys, we are moving now. Sure, we <sighs> uh -huh. 